Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I'm finally on with part four. We're going to say part four in quotation marks because this is really more of a craft with me type video. Um, I would say part four because I did a tutorial on how to make this recipe mini album for the What's Cooking Swap that myself that Jody and myself are host co-hosting together um coming up here um it's going to be due August 30th I believe and so at the end of the third part of the tutorial I said if anyone was interested in um doing a little craft with me type video where I decorate both of these albums um then to you know to comment and let me know and um my dear friend cindy definitely said she wanted to see me decorate the albums so i that's what we're doing today um disclaimer um if you've been following me long you know that i have an autoimmune disorder and it causes allergy like symptoms um sniffling sniffling runny nose um, watery eyes, itchiness, you know, all that, and, and, and I have a cough, and, um, usually I have, like, flares of my symptoms, and they last, like, maybe two weeks, and, uh, this flare has lasted for a month now, and there's nothing I can do about it, I, um, I apologize, the sniffling, and the coughing, and, and my raspy voice, and all of that, um, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I wish there was. It annoys me more than it could ever annoy you. I promise you that much. But um, I like to apologize for that. Um, and hopefully you can stick around and um, watch the video. Um, so I just wanted to give that disclaimer <coughs> that I will be sniffling and coughing at points throughout the video. Um, but... Um, let's get into it shall we um i have here this is the um like uh would, you, would the prototype like the original album that i made and i used a the digital collection from cartabella called homemade and so that's what this um patterned paper is it's all digital printed from my um computer and then this album i used the what's cooking collection from simple stories um so they're a little bit different but they do have a lot of the same oh i almost put that one upside down <laughs> but they do have a lot of the same colors there's like these minty greens there's pinks in both of them reds in both of them browns um and yeah so uh and and some yellow so they're very similar so i am going to use i don't have the homemade collection from echo or from cartabella i only have like the i have the ephemera the cardstock stickers the chipboard stickers and things like that from the what's cooking collection from simple stories but because they are so similar in um color waves or whatever you want to call it um i'm going to use uh that collection to decorate both of these so i don't know which one we should start with i'm thinking maybe we start with this one i have done some prep work to get them to get uh to get my stuff ready to decorate i'm gonna put this album here inside this uh, front cover just so I have a flatter surface to work on because when it's like bent down like this it's really difficult to lay your stuff down I like to lay everything down before I glue anything so I know exactly what it's going to look like so I uh, made this apron shaker just a few minutes ago I also made this stove shaker a few minutes ago I have all my ephemera here in these trays that I get from Dollar Tree. Um, I like to use these to like kind of organize the different kinds of ephemera. Um, like these are all fall pieces because this is kind of a fall collection. Um, so I put those on there because I'm probably not going to use those. But then I have like journaling bits and tags. 
um, and even some sentiments here on this tray. I have all the eph uh, pretty ephemera pieces here. Then I have this tray that has some doilies, some of my favorite netting material in white and pink, some cheesecloth, some um, ephemera pieces that I, I picked out, thought um, they're going to look really good on the cover. I've got, like I said, these these gold doilies, but I'm thinking I'm going to use the back, set, you know, because it's white, and I think that's going to look better, but we will see. I found this beautiful pink and red rosette in my stash. I've got some cut-aparts, like some layering pieces, just things that um, I think I might use. I've, I did do a little bit of planning, but left most of it up to, um, you know, uh, just decide as I go. Um, I did fussy cut this little pan that says kitchen is open, and then I saw that on the 12 by 12 cardstock stickers there's actually a, a sticker like that but it is a lot smaller so I think I'm going to use this one um here are the cardstock stickers here are the chipboard stickers and uh let's go ahead and get into it so I thought I would kind of explain I've done videos where I decorate things before and I've explained you know uh, the elements that I use and kind of my thought process behind it. And so I thought I would do that again in this video because I have a lot of new subscribers. Hi, thanks for, um, subscribing and watching. Uh, but, um, so I thought I would just do it again and hopefully it's not, um, annoying. Like if you've seen me do this before, it's not annoying to hear it again. <laughs> Um, so this is a really busy pattern paper that I picked for the cover of this album. I did, if you can see here, I did double mat it with gold foil and stitch with gold thread all the way around. I did that on the spine and the back cover as well. Um, I have these gold doilies, but I'm thinking that I'm going to like the white better. I think the doilies are going to look really cute on a recipe album, especially, right? Because food and serving food with the doilies and it's all cute so I originally was thinking one but now I'm thinking two because I want to use this apron this apron shaker that I made this is a die from KS craft I picked it up on Amazon <coughs> and I was thinking about doing something like this um now the doily because it has all these little um uh, poked out um, you know, die cut, uh, pieces, it, that really gives, starts to give it some texture. So I'm not going to go heavy on adding texture just yet anyways, because this, um, gold foil piece of this, of this shaker die also has some texture there with those little, um, spots that I poked out. So, there's some gold and some white, and we've got texture happening. Um, I always like to try to, um, I like to have a main element. And so in this case, our main element is the shaker apron. And then for, for a base layer, we've got the two doilies, right? So I do a base layer. I do, um what would you call that? Like a focal point. So we've got a focal point. Um, I like to add an extra, um, like, like a handmade embellishment. I did go I did make this paper ruffle, but I don't see me using it on this. I do, however, like this, um, rosette here. It brings in some of the pink but it also has some of the red in it, just a little bit of the red here in the corner. So I'm going to put the red down here at the bottom right-hand corner of my album. I'm going to zoom, try to zoom in a little bit. Is it going to let me? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so just because that red is there and there's a lot of red here, I'm putting it on the opposite side. I hope that makes sense. 
Um, Mm -hmm. I thought the cheesecloth might be cute on this as well um, because it's a kitchen item. <laughs> but um, I'm really liking this ephemera piece here. This It's like this, um, the old-timey stove with the pots and the tea kettle on there and then all of the kitchen accessories above it. I have this one and then I have, I have this smaller one too. This one says happiness is homemade, but I think I like this one. Sometimes you just got to try stuff out. That's what I do. I just start trying stuff out until I find what I like. And I think I do like the bigger one. I like this green. It's beautiful. So I like to have that in there. I don't want to cover my shaker very, like, a whole lot with this rosette. So I am going to put it more to the right so that you can still see all the shaker bits in there um i want some pink up here or maybe some pink over here i have this No, I don't like that. I do have my pink netting. I gotta see if it's gonna be too much texture if I put that over the doily. Where's my other doily? Oh, there it is. It's disappearing behind me. If I keep it over here to the right, I don't think it's it's too much. In fact, here. I am going to cut some of this off so we don't have such a big piece to work with. And I'm going to lay this kind of diagonal, like uh, opposite the way my doilies are laid across, you know, going up, down. So, so my lace is going um, down to up, like crossing the, um, the line of the doilies. And then I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put my little apron here. Nope. See, I want my pink over here. So I'm not going to do that diagonal thing I was talking about. I'm going to leave it here on the left. I, the other, one of the other things that I try to do is color balance. Um, so this patterned paper has all of the colors from the collection on it. So I can use all the colors from the collection right so um but i don't like it to be too heavy on one color and i like to use i like to try to do it sparingly so we have we have the white base we have the focal point we have some pink here and then we have some pink here and then we like this stove here or oven or whatever you want to call it and then because we have this rosette here not covering the shaker we have an extra chance to add some more texture if we want as long as we don't think it's too much right we don't want too much texture but we could do this this white netting instead of the pink and or we can do this cheesecloth and i think i'm actually leaning towards the cheesecloth Let me cut off a piece that will fit over the rosette. I'm fussing with it. Trying to, anyways. I like the cheesecloth the way that when you start to pull it, a, a, um, pull it away from itself, it like stretches out and gets like a bigger grid pattern in it. But then I don't like when it bunches up on the end like the, like it is on this left side. So I'm going to cut that part off. And then I'm going to lay that on top of my uh, rosette. And I need something to go on top of the rosette. 
We've got these flowers. I mean, look at the chipboard stickers. Ooh, I like this chipboard flower sticker here. In fact, I think it's it's positioned just perfectly to go there. So let's try it out. See what it looks like. This right here. Um, I like that. Let me zoom out a little if I can. Sorry, I'm shaking the thing. There we go. Zoomed out a little so you can see the whole thing. What do we think, guys? I wish you could tell me. I really wish you could tell me. <laughs> I'm going to uh, start researching how I can do live videos because I think... I've always wanted to learn how to do them. I think it'd be fun. And then to finish it off, I always add a sentiment. And we have this little um, rolling pin that says family. Or we have this little uh, rectangle that says recipes, which would be perfect for a recipe album, right? But then I also have some options over here. Let's eat. I don't like that. Family is forever. Gathers. Here. Oh, family gathers here. You can put these three together to see family gathers here. But then I also have my card stock stickers and I really like this gather but then we also have all these sentiments down here that are really fun in fact now I want to use some of these tickets I'm a layers girl a lot of people prefer to do like a clean and simple style I like layers and I like chunkiness and I just can't help it <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually either, I'm thinking either this, this recipes there or this gather. I think I like the gather. What do you guys think? That's cute, right? Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. I'm just going to scan over my... No, I said I wanted to do some little tickets. And we have these little tickets here. And we have some ephemera piece tickets as well. Somewheres. Somewheres. This is such a cute collection, guys. It really is. Got these here. So now I'm just adding this and playing with it and seeing how I like it. I don't think I like the three tickets. But we've also got this big one that says let's eat. That's too big for this, I think. I thought there was some individual tickets, but now I'm not seeing them. Just bear with me. We're just crafting together. I hope you have your projects out and you're crafting along with me. I love, like, my my favorite crafty videos to watch are definitely um, craft with me's. So, I'm trying to get better at doing, doing more of them. Especially now that I'm feeling a little bit better. For two weeks, I just did not feel good. Okay, we have these two tickets here that I cut off. It's like the um, one of the long strip stickers that Simple Stories always does. And now I'm rethinking this because it's going to be teal heavy on the right side. So let me rethink this real quick. I don't want to use this teal one, so I'm going to cut it off. Because, Like I said, color balance is really important, so I don't want this, this, this color teal right next to this green because that's just too much green on one side. Um... I did find one little individual ticket, but I 
bear with me. I've got a little red ticket here. I want a pink one. Or a yellow one. Those are too close together. Pop a little more. And I'm thinking about tucking those right behind the cheesecloth there for a little added interest. I am going to have to put this rosette up on some foam dots so it's nice and even. But there we have it. And we're going to add this gather sentiment down here. I hope you guys like it because I think I do. I think I do. If my glue is going to behave, probably not because I'm recording. Oh, it's working. Thank you, glue. Thank you, Barely Arts. Okay, so now that I know where everything is, I want, I want everything. I'm going to start gluing things down in order. Now, because this is going to go to someone and hopefully be used as a mini album or a recipe album, I don't want it too thick, so I'm not going to add any dimension with any foam other than to level out that rosette. Everything else is going to... I mean, there's some dimension. I can't help it, okay? I love dimension, and there's going to be a little bit. I just can't help it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use some hot glue to glue this bad boy down so that it really helps this netting stick. If I can find my hot glue gun, that is, there it is. Of course, it needs a new glue stick. I normally don't do like paper piece embellishments or um, shakers on the front of albums, but because I have this oven and this apron, I just thought it was too good not to use. You know, it's like super cute. Okay, now I'm going to glue down my focal point. Also using my hot glue for this. So that I know it's not coming off and it is going to help that that netting you know it's add so much texture that you need that hot glue to really get it to stick down there's that I like how that's just peeking out a little bit that's perfect Like I said, I want to position my rosette so that the red is down here at the bottom right because there's so much red right here. I want the red as far away from this red as possible, <laughs> if that makes sense. Let me get my little foam squares. I'm probably going to have to do like two layers. Because I'm using that, my shaker is made out of that thick 5 millimeter foam from Hobby Lobby. It's the only foam I use these days. Let's see if that's going to work. And now we need a third layer. Because that 5 millimeter foam is so thick. But that's okay. There we go. And like I said, I'm going to make sure I don't cover up the entirety of my shaker. You want to see that because we worked so hard making it. I'm adding glue, hot glue here to my foam tape and to the rosette itself so that it sticks to the shaker. There we go. That. Go. I'm trying to line this edge of this uh, 
rosette up with the edge of the doily as well. So the doily is just sticking out a little bit around the rosette. Sometimes it's just all about that attention to detail. Now we have this chipboard floral sticker that I um, have the cheesecloth behind. And I'm going to add my hot glue to this. Oh, no, I almost forgot my tickets. Don't forget your tickets. Okay. I'm going to just put these bad boys right here. Put that down. And then, of course, we have our little gather sentiment that I'm just going to. I don't trust the adhesive that comes on stickers. I either add wet glue or hot glue. Um, to make sure that my stickers don't fall off, you know. It's ridiculous that we have to do that to add extra adhesive to the stickers. But we do, because they don't always stick by themselves. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. Okay, so there is our first album cover. Got the adorable apron shaker. Decorated all nice and yeah, like I said, I usually don't do this much volume on an album, but I just couldn't resist doing the shakers. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this top part so that it will stick down to the album. It's a, quite a bit of volume, but that's my style. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Now we can do this album. And I need, I'm going to need to use this, this album <laughs> this time to prop this open so that I can, I ain't going to work. Hold on. Let me find another album I can use that's not decorated on the front. <clears throat> and I can use to level it out. Here we go. I have lots of albums, that's for sure. Okay, so for this one, I definitely want to use my little oven shaker. Look, it's got little chocolate chip cookies in the shaker mix. How cute is that? Um, I think I want to use my paper ruffle because I definitely want to bring in some of this teal from the collection because this is all gold, white, and red. Um, we definitely want to bring in some pink. So we have this one. We can't do two ovens. This one, this is a little oven of summer piece that says hot, 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 but we already got the shaker oven. So I'm thinking this here. Hmm. Now I don't remember what else I was going to do on this one. <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh, I know. I was going to add this because it says kitchen is open. I like that. That's super cute. We need some red in here. How are we going to bring that red in? We've got lots of red in the ephemera pieces. Ooh, we've got this oven mitt. But we can't look. You can't really do red on red. So, how do we bring that in? Let me think for a second. I'm going to look at the cut aparts and the um, tag and see. If I could find a tag or a cut apart that had like all of the colors of the collection on it, that would be fabulous. Love you to the fridge and back. Spice, spice, baby. What's cooking? We got the fridge here. I think we could do that. Uh, 
I don't love it. This is where I'm going to get indecisive and you guys are going to, I'm going to drive you guys crazy. But I'm going to look at my cut apart sheets here. All in family. Body blah blah. Bless this mess. Family recipe. It's too big for my album cover. Family home. Huh. Oh. Let's look at the stickers. Board stickers. Or maybe we just bring in more of this teal up here. Like so. Here's that other oven on this one. That is going to blend in too much, I think. We definitely need some texture, so let's think about texture. I'm thinking I want to use some of this white netting against this red background. I'm going to lay it down there um, kind of diagonally. Put my paper ruffle there. Put my little kitchen oven thing back here. We want to bring in some pink. We got our white oven and we got our kitchen is open little frying pan I think we might have to add this second piece of white I don't have much of this white right now so I just have to overlap it I think it's throwing me off because it's an oven in an oven. It's going to be the house. Maybe both the houses. Forgive me as I be indecisive and... Um, you know, put things on and take things off, kind of figure it out. But this is my creative process. Texture, focal point, handmade embellishment, um, color balance. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything or not, but I probably am. I don't think that looks too bad. What do you guys think? But I think that this needs to go further up here and the red one needs to go on the front to kind of break that up from the red in the in the background paper. And then I'm also thinking about maybe leaving that texture there and then Bringing it down on top of the paper ruffle. I kind of like that. It's simple. But cute. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? Hold on. Let's check, let's check this guy out. Because this is like a hutch.
<laughs> Give me um kind of humming. <laughs> humming along. I think this is too big. So we've got this little blender here. Okay, all of a sudden I like it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just that one missing element, you know, and you just gotta play around with it until you figure it out. I think I think I like it. So let's start gluing stuff down. Of course, this goes first, and then we're gonna do some hot glue on the back of this little pink recipe card. It's in our piece. Definitely move that acetate that came out of nowhere. Glue that down. Add some glue here to the hutch chipboard piece. And then we were going to put this guy here. We're going to put our paper ruffle down here. Bring in some of that tealy green from the collection. And then we can add our focal point, the little shaker oven embellishment. Let's add him right here. And then I am going to add some foam to the just the right side of this um, thing so I can overlap the oven just a little bit. I definitely like to overlap things, cluster them together, so on and so forth. <laughs> Oh, I said just on the right side, and here I am putting it on the left. And we're going to need three layers again. <laughs> because of that thick five millimeter foam. There's my three layers of foam. I'm going to add my hot glue to the foam and to the back of the ephemera piece. And then I'm going to kind of position it there on top so it looks nice. And then this little handle is just going to kind of be floating up there, but that's okay. It'll work. I like it. I like it a lot. It's simple, but it's fun. It's got the shaker element. I mean, what more could you want? It's got the sentiment because it's built into the frying pan. Kitchen is open. You could always add another little sentiment if you wanted, but I think I'm good. I think I like it. So anyways, guys, that is all I got for you today hope you enjoyed this little craft with me style video where we decorated these two album covers i hope you maybe learned something picked something up <laughs> from me uh just talking on about how i decorate things um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you thanks so much for watching and you guys have a great day bye